The spying aspect is uh, just one part of, you know, one of the findings from our report. Our exodus to India or to the exile, you know, uh, CCP has targeted uh, Tibetans. Of course, CCP views the global Tibet, international Tibet movement as a you know, growing threat. When you do, do lots of uh, wrong things, so you think uh, you take others in the same way. They're hiding a lot of things, what's happening in Tibet and uh, in mainland China as a whole. The century-old nomads are being relocated. What for? Because they want to make Tibet into a slaughterhouse to raise consumption for the tourism that is inflowing in China. The spying aspect is uh, just one part of, you know, one of the findings from our report. Uh, so first of all, you know, the report that we just released is actually one of the first uh, that is uh, focused on the transnational repression led by CCP on the Tibetan diaspora communities. And, you know, in the international community, there's been a lot of discussions on the kind of repression that is being faced transnationally by the, you know, uh, so-called Chinese overseas, uh, including the Uyghurs and the Hong Kongers, Taiwanese, but there's been no sort of any report dedicated to the kind of repression that, you know, Tibetan in the diaspora has been facing for so long. So TCHRD, you know, we felt the need uh, to, you know, first of all, document these issues because transnational repression, quite frankly, is not, you know, new to Tibetan community because uh, since, you know, our exodus to India or to the exile, you know, uh, CCP has targeted uh, Tibetans uh, in the diaspora using their family members back inside Tibet to sort of basically control uh, and sort of um, undermine the legitimacy or the functionality of the Tibetan overseas organizations, you know, so that, you know, they can, you know, have the whole sort of opportunity to, uh, uh, first of all, show a very sanitized version to the international community of Tibet, you know, that's so devoid of the human rights situation inside Tibet. And uh, of course, CCP views the global Tibet, international Tibet movement as a you know, growing threat. And to sort of control that and undermine that, they are using all sorts of, you know, opportunities to undermine, first of all, and then control and uh, uh, silence the critics uh, of CCP abroad. When you do, do lots of uh, wrong thing, so you think uh, you take others in the same way. The one who steals others' uh, things, think that others also are uh, a thief. So the same is the case with China. They're hiding a lot of things, what's happening in Tibet and uh, in mainland China as a whole to the world. Tibet is cut off from the uh, rest of the world. Why? The question itself speaks volume because they have lots of things to hide to the world. The violation of not only human rights, but in the name of uh, uh, conserving nature, national parks are coming up. What for? The, uh, the century-old nomads are being relocated. What for? Because they want to make Tibet into a slaughterhouse to raise consumption for the tourism that is inflowing in China. So they are hiding all these things. But what do we have in exile? We are as transparent as can be. We just have the truth with us. His Holiness has always welcomed the Chinese leadership to come and investigate what we are doing here. We are an open file to the world. Whatever we speak to the world, what we do in the office, everything is transparent because we have a democracy, we have a rule of a law, and we have the people's will being uh, taken into consideration, which is just the reverse in China.